Morning everyone, Luke from Orbtech here. We're doing a product review of the IFM UGT524 18mm ultrasonic sensor and that will be fitted with the SoundTube E2300. We've got them set up here. The application is sensing of glass which is why we've chosen the ultrasonic sensor because of its indifference to optically clear and opaque materials. Uh, three samples to work with of clear glass, a grey etched glass and a painted glass. So we find a straight edge, set it up on the test rig and the red mark is where we found it switching previously. So we bring that glass in, we're looking for an orange light on the back of the sensor to indicate the output is switched. So almost on the line, I'll just take it back and output off. And now just moving it between output on and off, you see there's barely any movement the glass there to get the output to switch about the width of a, a pen. Moving to the grey etched sample. And again move it forward. So that there within the width of the pen line, the output is switching on and off as I move it backwards and forwards. And finally the painted sample. Again, within the width of the pen line there, switching on and off. The sensor here is running a factory default configuration. It's completely indifferent to any object touching in and around here. But by default it will detect an object out here which might be a problem in the walkway if a person walking past uh, trips the instrument but then they shouldn't be that close to the machine in operation, but that is fixable. If we go over to the laptop, we see this is an IO Link instrument and it has adjustable set points there. So it's currently set at 300mm and 40mm, and as we saw, the glass was almost point blank in that application, so we can reduce those numbers and then it will be indifferent to people walking in the passageway adjacent to the sensor. Finally, I'll just show you over here the competitor sensor that we're trying to replace here was a 30 mil body. So to get that accurate switching, we need to accurately mount the instrument. So to have it repeatable placement inside that, we need a bush to locate it so that it can be removed and then reinstalled into exactly the same location. And to get the length of the sound tube, we've had to recess the sensor mounting location 28 millimeters. There's opportunity to trim the sound tube, but that's not shown officially in any documentation. Finally, I'll just show you the sound tube removable part and purchase separately. If this is of interest, uh, let us know. Thank you for your time.